is all my kit in the van. All ready to do a bit of filming, and here we are. Oil pressure light flashing for some reason, but that's not the worst of it. My brakes have actually failed. So I am waiting on recovery, and that's the end of today's fishing. Hello, and I guess I should say Happy New Year. So this is my first session of the year so far. Just out doing a bit of perch fishing. It's a bit bright for it and uh, it's really cold, so not ideal conditions, but it gets me out of the ass and you've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? So uh, yeah, I've just come back from Ireland where I managed to get out and do a bit of fishing. We were over there having Christmas with the family, had a lovely time and uh, yeah, caught some, uh, well, caught one really weird specimen, which uh, you'll have to see at the end of this video. But um, yeah, hopefully this year uh, starts a bit better than how my year ended. Um, just on my last session of the year, I was on my way to meet a friend at um, ADH Fisheries and uh, my van broke down, uh, brakes failed and I nearly crashed at 70 mile an hour. So uh, yeah, that's all sorted now. So hopefully no more problems. But um, yeah, as I say, check this video out. See what you think. If you like it, like it. If you don't, you don't. So uh, I can only learn from it. But uh, yeah, take care and I'll see you very soon. After a very long drive and then a ferry across choppy seas, we arrived in Northern Ireland to spend Christmas with the family and catch up with friends. But I did manage to sneak some fishing gear in the car. Getting the festivities out of the way, it was time to link up with the boys and go and check out some spots. Good After settling on a couple of spots around the Porter Ferry area, we thought we'd give it a go. Now, I'm no experienced sea angler, so I did my best with extra long heli rigs, a 4 ounce lead and squid wrapped with elastic so it wouldn't come off on the cast. Having no luck at the first spot, we tried another. This time a rocky outcrop in the teeth of the wind with plenty of structure on the sea floor. A place that almost certainly holds fish. The rods I was using were my Witchwood MLT 9 footers and it never ceases to amaze me the amount of abuse these things take. After having nothing but tiny fish and crabs trying to steal our bait and the light fading fast, we decided the best thing to do was wait for high tide and try one more place. We settled on Donagadee Seafront and the bites were instant, catching plenty of pollock, the odd crab, a couple of wrasse which dropped off and then a sea scorpion which looked incredible. And just like that the trip was over. We made the long journey home and I started making plans to go out perch fishing. Hopefully trying to catch something as big as what I caught at the start of last year. <laughs>